Welcome to AGI, uh, the third AGI Open. What's wonderful about environments is they're really large-scale identities. This is the 54th Street parking garage in New York City. And I did not want to do this job. Who wants to design a parking garage? Not me. There was a client uh, who I work with on a lot of things, and I thought it wasn't very glamorous, and I didn't want to do a place where it was going to be essentially filled with, you know, smoke fumes and be filthy in five minutes. There was a building that was over the parking garage, and you weren't allowed to put signage on it. It had to be very small. This is the teeny-weeny parking sign we put on the, on the building. I looked at the city ordinance and found that you weren't allowed to have any kind of signs that were over a certain point if they were out on the street. So I decided what I wanted to do was put signs inside the building, and that way I would get around the, the uh, city rule. Partially because he had to persuade me to do the project, he let me do what I wanted as long as it functioned, which it did and it turned out to be a terrific looking graphic project. So I went to design the inside of the garage and I decided to just make it function, since there was so much information, make it function like a type book, which I actually began to fall in love with as I began to do it. Because while the parking garage couldn't have the great type outside, it could on the inside. If you're developing identities, you have to think in all media which means that you're developing something that can live in two and three dimensional media and in film and in every form that there is. The Windows 8 job is actually a terrific project. The goal was to find what they call the principle-based identity system that Microsoft could adopt for not just the Windows logo, but for lots of other products that they produce. So they were looking, they were looking for a way to revolutionize the way they thought about um, their individual brands and how they're connected. Microsoft uh, launched Windows in, I believe, 1992, and they have lots of logos. And the logos are all different for their different products, and they're not connected all through Microsoft. And Microsoft hired me to look at the Windows level logo as a basis for uh, connecting all of these various uh, uh, identities. This is the Windows logo. And I looked at it and I thought, why is it a flag? It's supposed to be a window. I realized that they meant it to be a window, but it was probably designed in such a way where they had a window and somebody said, well, it doesn't look like it has any motion. So they made it wiggly. What I did is I went back to geometry and presented Microsoft with a notion of how to design things in perspective. And we began to show them how they could use perspective shapes to create the sense of windows on the computer and that they did not have to have uh, wavy lines because the screen itself moved, that objects could animate and move on the screen. You find that it's actually closest to the first logo they had, which was four uh, different uh, uh, window panes that were put together. They were a little off-center, but they were flat and they happen to be in blue. So it's going much more back to where they were originally. In fact, we designed a store for them where nothing touched the ground, everything floated, and everything animated and moved on screens. We showed them how flat shapes move in space and that therefore you don't have to shade them because the perspective is natural. The perspective is within the drawing and that you don't have to indicate motion, you actually make motion. What Microsoft did in their interface design is they have a very um, European modernist design that's based on simply flat squares uh, being moved around uh, in a space to make things happen. And it's really what digital design is. It's flat, the digital surface is flat. So the Windows logo, which moves in and out of the interface design is the, the four squares come from the Windows 8 design and they're configured in perspective because the um, squares move in and out of the screen. So it, it relates very strongly to the Windows, Windows 8 interface system. So this was the presentation we made to Microsoft and they, they fell in love with it we showed them different ways they could use the window in advertising and in packaging and in presentations. The 
logo is uh, going to be launched this year, and you'll see it on ads and in products. It'll probably be the most reproduced mark I will have ever designed. We'll